So Jason's training for a triathlon. He has to train 40 hours every week. It's like a full-time job. So 40 hours every week. So we want to write this as a unit rate per day. So as a unit rate, I want to write this as 40 hours. And the number, that's every week. So I want to write this per day. So I can just divide this by seven days. Okay, and I get 40 divided by seven gives us 5.71 hours per day. Okay, so it's gonna be 5.71 hours per day. Now we could also do this using our multiplying strategy. We can just say we want the unit rate per day, so we start with 40 hours per week. Now in this case here, I want to get rid of the weeks on the bottom and I want days on the bottom. So I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to put weeks on the top and days on the bottom. And notice that the weeks cancel out. And when we divide, we have times on top, divide on bottom, we get the exact same solution. Now this is a little bit less intuitive than just well we 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 kind of assume that we know one week is seven days and we can just plug in replace this one week with seven days and that's perfectly fine but this we can still do using unit analysis and not only that we don't necessarily always cancel out the numerator units we can sometimes cancel out the denominator units as long as we have that's unit in the numerator. Okay, so, but this is, we probably, the green is probably something that is not intuitively uh, what we would go to. In fact, I wouldn't necessarily even recommend it, but I just want to make clear that our unit analysis works in very complicated situations. In fact, when it's complicated, it makes it easy because it's just times on top, divide on bottom. So, Jason here, he has 120 days of training left. How many hours is he going to train? Well, I know that he's got 5.17 hours every day, and he's got 120 days, so I'm just going to multiply those together. And I can see that my units are going to cancel out. Okay, so this is divide by days times by days. And when I multiply 120 by 5.71, 5, 5 okay, I get about 685.7. So 685.7 hours of training still. Okay, and I can see that my units are perfectly matching. Okay, so McKenna scoring 38 goals in 25 games. I'm going to set this one up as a ratio. I'm going to do this a couple ways. So 38 goals in 25 games. Okay, so we want to know the number of games for 50 goals. Okay, we just, as long as I have the same comparison, I'm okay. So I can find a multiplier here. In fact, I'm going to use my unit rate. I'm going to do 38 divided by 25. Gives me 1.52 goals per game. So I'm going to divide by that because I'm going in the other direction. And again, that direction of that multiplier is very important. So we're going to do 50 divided by 1.52. And we're going to end up with 32.9 games. So we're going to have about 32.9 games. So we're going to say about 33 games. Okay. Now we, we can set this up slightly differently. And we can just say, well, we have 50 goals. There's our rate. So I'm going to multiply by that rate. The goals have to be on the bottom. 
games are on top. Goals cancel out. And then when I multiply those two together, I get approximate, I get about the same. Well, in fact, I do get the same, 32.9 games. Okay, so that's a, our multiplying strategy to get to the same place. So again, it's important to recognize the rate that we're dealing with. So in this case, eight bagels for $3. Okay, this one asks us to find a unit rate. So I'm going to find the two unit rates. I'm going to find the rate per bagel. So I'm going to go $3 divided by eight bagels. So I'm going to get, so I'm going to maybe write this out, $3 for eight bagels. Gives me a unit rate of 37.5 cents per bagel. Okay. I can write my unit rate in its in or the reciprocal form, eight bagels for three dollars. So that gives us two point six seven bagels per one dollar. Okay, so that's our unit rate for that. So if we want to find our eight dollar rate. Okay, we can just multiply that. Okay, we can use either rate. So for eight dollars, I want to multiply by, and in this case, if I want to get rid of, I'm going to use this one here. So I'm going to use one bagel. For thirty-seven point five cents. Okay, or point three seven five dollars and I can plug that into my calculator times on top divide on bottom so I end up with eight dollars divided by 0.375 gives me we can calculate the debt the dollars cancels out and I end up with 21.3 repeating and the units are bagels okay so it doesn't matter, I could use this rate, okay, or, or reciprocal rates, I can use, doesn't matter which of the rates I use, as long as I get my rate in the right order, we'll get the exact same answer regardless. Okay, and I can use unit rate, I can use a whole number of rates, it doesn't matter.